This mummy. Why did it have to be this mummy? Why is he here? I... <laughs> we almost went insane <clears throat> talking and dealing with this mummy the last time we saw him back in the first game. And here he is. Somehow made his way here. Uh, we have to deal with him again. Great. Oh, there's a lot to look at here. Let's start off with what I assume is his sarcophagus. A massive hmm. thing. I wonder if the mummy pulled it out here on his own. The little guy doesn't look that strong. Huh. Hmm. The sarcophagus is gold-plated. In normal circumstances, I would pocket some of the gold. But it's a bit different if the inhabitant of the sarcophagus is full of beans and still needs it. Huh. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm gonna hold off on looking at... on talking to him. I want to put that off as long According as I can. According to legend, Laura Mipsum had golden roofs. I can only see a pile of old stones. The half-buried flagstone. Hmm. The whole slab is covered with characters. Hieroglyphs, something that looks like old dwarvish, and normal letters. At Vero Eos et Accusum et Justo Duo Dolores et Ea Ribum. That's the same forgotten language as in the Lorem Ipsum text. Maybe we can translate that too. A stone head. I found a very similar stone head in the Northlands and took it with me. <laughs> but there's no way it could be from the same stonemasons. We're thousands of miles from the Northlands. That sphinx. <laughs> that face on that sphinx's head. He's like, e what? That's so such a smug look. The sand has protected the statues over the millennia. If they'd been exposed to the wind, there'd be nothing left of them but sand. Oh, there's a lot of things on this over here. A semicircular depression. There are lines and numbers carved into the stone on the inside. Perhaps some kind of calculation? Or something religious? No idea what that is. An obelisk. It must have been lying in the sand for millennia, like everything else. An obelisk. Stone pedestal. <coughs> a massive stone <coughs> plinth with a piece of Excuse rotten me? wood in the middle. I know that old stone columns often have a wooden core to keep the individual pieces of the column in place. The obelisk clearly had something similar that gave up the ghost at some point. Huh. Pyramid? I can't imagine the whole pyramid was covered in sand. In that case, all this must have been more than 100 meters under the floor of the desert. I know lots of people find pyramids impressive, but what's the big deal? You pile up blocks into a heap. I could already do that when I was a kid. Ha! Maybe not as big, but the principle's the same. Nate, you are such a caveman. Okay, here we go. Let's talk to the mummy. Uh, I'm gonna regret this. Uh, mummy with a small spade. I wonder. Mortimer. Oh no, not that um, again. No, I'm Nate. That's Critter. Rotus, Rotus. But I seek Mortimer. <laughs> Here? Under the sand? Why aren't you Mortimer? I, um, don't know. <clears throat> you see what I mean? Here we go. Who are you? Who are you? I am, um, isn't the question more... Who are you? Um, <laughs> I'm Nate, like I already said. So you are neither Mortimer, nor that elf who was pretending to be Mortimer. <laughs> that... yes, I can confirm that. So many people. I can't possibly remember all these names. I will call you... Hmm, Nate. Um, <laughs> I can live with that. Can you tell where this co these conversations are going to be going? Oh, man. 
<laughs> Who is this Mortimer that you're looking for? I'm not sure I want to go down this road, but we may as well. Who is this Mortimer you're looking for? Mortimer fetched me out of the darkness many years ago. I lived with him until he disappeared. And now you're looking for him here? Looking for whom? <laughs> that Mortimer. You've seen him. Oh. I've been looking for him everywhere. Critter, can you do something about this guy? Just gotta get him away from me. I don't want to deal with crazy people right now. Uh, did you excavate these ruins? Don't tell me you dug this huge hole. All right. <laughs> um, I mean, why did you dig it? All right. I'm I not meant to say. You, you can tell me. What's the hole all about? What hole? Yes, about that. Why did you dig oh it? Oh my god! I didn't. You did. Of course. I wanted to go home. So you're from Lorem Ipsum? Yes. It must be here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> have you... have you had a look around? <laughs> ah! Lorem Ipsum! What a coincidence! I was born here, you know. Uh, <laughs> don't they usually take the brains out during the mummification process? <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious here with this guy. Can you tell me something about the town? What can you tell me about Laura Mipsum? What was life here like? Oh, wonderful. We've always had good weather. Really? We built the most beautiful temples with the most fiendish traps sold them all around the world, and made a lot of money from that. You sold temples with built-in traps? Wow! Of course. Walls that suddenly come together and squash any intruder, invented here in Lord Emipsum. We had breeding programs for scorpions and tarantulas. Uh. And we issued a 3,000-year guarantee for our traps. <laughs> that means your traps could still work today? Traps? What traps? Oh my god. You see what I mean? This is what talking to this guy is like. It's just like it was in the first game. So, I'm searching for a book. The Book of the Dead. Know where it might be? I'm looking for a book. I've seen one lying on Mortimer's desk. I'm looking for a particular book. The Book of the Dead. Oh, but that's just a legend. <laughs> That book, apparently, explains how one can bestow everlasting life on people by wrapping them up in gauze bandages. Poof. Assuming it wasn't a legend, where would the Book of the Dead be hidden? Ah, the Book of the Dead. Hmm. Some say it is mere legend, but I have seen it many times. It was put into the tomb of the last pharaoh of Lorem Ipsum, the mad Tut Tut. <laughs> and where is the tomb of this mad Tut Tut? And this Tut Tut, where is he buried? He is lying under a mighty pyramid, just like that one over there. Actually, now that I think about it, it's exactly like the one over there. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? Why would someone put a pyramid here that looks exactly the same as Tut Tut's? Oh, gosh. Uh, How do you get into Tut Tut's pyramid? Who is Tut Tut? Uh, and what's this pyramid you're talking about? Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, forget it. What should I forget? <laughs> Ah! Uh, do they remove your brain when they embalmed you or something? Don't mummies have their brains removed during embalmment? Hmm, that's funny. I could swear that I've heard that question somewhere before. I bet. <laughs> Can you read what's written on this flagstone? I found this stone slab. What does it say? Hmm, it says... Thank you for your decision to buy this pyramid model, World Wonder. 
in three languages. It's... it's an operating manual? Ha! <laughs> Our lost temples could get rather complicated. Needed instructions. Does it say how to open the pyramid? Terms of use, guarantee, washing instructions. Washing instructions. Ah, there. Erect pyramid <coughs> facing exactly north. Position obelisk A in depression G on stone socket B with the help of wooden peg F. We recommend the use of slaves for erection, not included in this delivery. <laughs> Every day at three o'clock in the afternoon, the shadow of the obelisk will point to the stone which opens the secret ah, entrance. Ah, so that's how we get in Why there. Why doesn't it just say which stone you have to press? Who would write something like this? I've got to go. And you? You might want to get out of the sun for a couple of hours. <laughs> I've not got time for breaks. I'm looking for a pyramid. It must be here somewhere. <laughs> you guys see what I mean? Uh... Huh. So, kind of like this obelisk right there. Wait, so do I have to get that for off the ground and onto the pedestal? I guess <clears throat> that's the obelisk mentioned in the operating manual. At least, I can't see another one. How am I supposed to get the obelisk onto the pedestal? It must weigh at least a ton. I guess we need to find some slaves, like he said. <laughs> a semicircular depression. There are lines and numbers carved into the stone on the inside. Perhaps some kind of calc... You said that before. Without a replacement for the wooden pin, the obelisk won't stay on the plinth. Use the wooden plank as a lever. I might be able to stand the obelisk upright, but there's no way I can heave it onto the stone plinth, even with a lever. Or lever. What about the reed? Is there anything I can use it for here? Oh, put the reed into the stone socket! That thin thing? <clears throat> no, no botch jobs. All right, fine, Nate. Yeah. Nope, no use for that here. Travel to, oh, I can just do that from here. That's good to know. Give Critter the flagstone. Don't know if I want to do that. According to the operating <clears throat> manual, there's a place you have to press to open an entrance into the pyramid. But I can't just try and find it by looking around. That would take forever. According... But I... Huh. Alright. Critter, what can you find? Put 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 Oh gosh, this conversation should be interesting. Uh, you... You are so hairy. No wonder it took me so long to find you. Oh, he thinks he's more I almost didn't recognize you. You think? Well... We can try, but I really don't know why there would be a hairdresser down there. <laughs> I don't even want to know. A sundial? Hawks? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Critter has some of the best dialogue. What's up? Russian evil. I don't know. That woman drives me crazy. Why do two great guys like us have such bad luck with our girlfriends? Oh, oh, Critter. Oh, so that was his girlfriend, but I guess it's his ex-girlfriend. Oh, poor Critter. Yeah, all right. I'll take over. Dr. 
Critter? Hey, Critter. Huh? Who? Huh? Forget it. Let's see. What if I go back to the Mary? Poor Buttercup. She's still, like, depressed. Not only are you hungry, but now you're too hot as well. <laughs> Isn't life unfair? Use the rope with... Throw the rope overboard. Can I do that now? Watch out down there. Hmm. Maybe next time I should shout first and then throw it down. Oh, hold on. What can I do with this rope down here? Oh, could I use it to lift up the obelisk? The Mary should have enough power to heave the obelisk onto the plinth. But the obelisk would fall straight off the plinth. Neither of the stones are as smooth as they once were. So I have to figure that out first before I can do that. Use the wooden plank as a lever. I might... Nope. That thin? So what do I need to do with to make the reed usable as that uh, wooden piece there for the obelisk look at the Sand desert and shimmering air as far as the eye can see makes you wonder why Laura Ipsum was built here Sand is there anything down here that I can use that can help me out most of the communication between a captain and his ships nonverbal we'll leave it at that for now you don't want to talk to Mary come on A rabbit costume with a fluffy tail and ears to match. Huh. I'd have liked to have seen Ivo in that. Oh, gosh, Nate. The critter never wanted to hand it over. Huh. Nate, you perv. You pervert. All right, then. Maybe we need to go somewhere else. We can go to Lorm Ipsum. Why are we still looking at this? That's the old oasis of Bremen. It was already there at the time of Laura Mipsum. Today, it's a pretty little town. Oh, hey, isn't that like the, the, uh, or maybe not. I thought that was like the fairgrounds from the end of the first game. Maybe not. So I've already looked at those. We can either go back to the Elfborough or actually let's, let's go to Tugator. Cast off. Let's see what we can do about <laughs> Tugator. Nope, me neither. I think we all know who's responsible for that. Aww. It's okay, Critter. Okay. You stay here. Prepare the cannons and be ready to rescue me if necessary. Gotta try and deal with the red pirate and get that compass. Let's see if we can do anything about that first before we deal with what's going on in Lord Mipson. Give me Whoa. that damned elf immediately! What happened here? There's no damned elf here. Get lost. When did they get here? Well, I guess it's obvious we know what happened here. Little Chantel there is what happened here. But when did they get here? Wait, she thinks that Ivo's here? Well, you know what? Perhaps that's kind of an advantage to us. Though it's going to be a bit of an issue considering that she's kind of in the way of us getting to the compass. Hmm. Wow. Some healthy, artificial-looking, oversweet, fatty parody of a foodstuff. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Try one of the treats. Easy, Nate. Hey, what are you doing there? N n n nothing. <laughs> I'm um admiring the fine delicacies. Those aren't for you. They're for my guests. Sorry. If you want to take part. I'm gonna have to make you pretty first. No, 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 no. No, nope. uh, no, that's all right. <laughs> Please don't. I'll keep my hands off your guest's food. Oh, boy. A laid out table. It's a powerful kid's magic that can force grown men to sit at tiny tables and pretend they like tea. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm immune. <laughs> oh, boy. Brightly colored cloths. 
We'll deal with those two in a second. Let's continue to ch check out this clothes. area here. They don't seem to fulfill any purpose, apart from being colorful. Okay. Oh, there's the... The hammer from the no, trial. No, escaped the brat's magic. This hammer is one of the lucky few. I'll take the hammer. Just collecting stuff, because you, you never know what's going to be useful later. A flower. That's the third biggest flower I've ever seen. The third? What are the uh, what are the top two? The flower is too pretty and smells too good to just be left alone. Transform buildings. That's wrong. Impressive, but wrong. <laughs> That's some transformation. There must be powerful magic at work. When Ivo told me about Sea Stone, I could hardly believe it. Even if the power of the brat sorcerer grandpa is concentrated in the wand, where did he get all the power from? I'd better not speak to her. She could turn me into a small, hairy, pink critter in the blink of an eye. Oh boy. And who would want something like that hanging around? Yuck, 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 yuck. It looks like the old hag doesn't dare venture into the palace. Not a bad idea, considering the toys the Red Pirates got in there. Um, she's standing right next to you, and you just called her an old hag. Why is she not reacting to that? He said that out loud right next to her. I'm just saying. It looks like the old... <laughs> he said it again. I guess we'll talk to her. Lady Van Buren, I assume. Yes? Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> uh, let's... <laughs> My name is Wayne Sch Schlegel. My name is Wayne Schlegel, from the Seastone Life and Accident Insurance Company. <laughs> what do you want here? There was an accident here. A pirate lost an eye. Now he has to wear a wooden leg. There was clearly a problem in processing the claim. There's no one here anymore. Apart from that damned red pirate. And the elf he's hiding. Elf? What kind of elf? Elf? What elf? A thieving elf! She robbed me while I had to deal with the rest of her kind. You've been to Elfborough? I heard it's supposed to be very pretty at this time of year. We couldn't get in. Protective charms that not even my little darling could do anything about. What a shame. And then I go back home and find I've been robbed by that damned elf and her mob. They will suffer the consequences. Okay, then, are you sure that the elf is here? And you're sure the elf's here? Of course! She flew here from Seastone on a magic hippogriff. We followed her trail to here, and there are no indications that the hippogriff has flown on. Why is she sucking on, the, on that wand? Did you see that? Why don't you simply go in there and get the elf out? You seem to have considerable you magical probably know why. power at your command, Medusa. Why don't you just magic the elf out of there? If it were really so simple, do you really think I'd be wasting my precious time here? That red scoundrel threatened us. Us! He has a magic weapon in there. Ancient, divine magic, which even my Chantel can't do anything against. Perhaps I could help? I could talk to the Red Pirate. Perhaps I could go in there and talk to the Red Pirate. I'm an insurance salesman. No one would dare do anything with <laughs> insurance salesman. Wah, wah. That's true. And every hour that I waste here prevents me from taking care of the transformation of the country. Go in. Convince that old scoundrel. I admire your work, Lady Van Buren. What you've done with this island is very impressive, Lady Van Buren. Just like in Seastone, you and your daughter are a real asset to this land. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Politicians so seldom receive the thanks that's due to them. <coughs> one works toilessly for years on end for oneself and one's friends. And do the electorate thank you for it? No. <coughs> sad. Very sad. <laughs> then I may take my leave, Lady Van Buren? Yes, yes. You guys can draw your own conclusion and make your own joke from that one. Alright, I guess we'll go inside. Oh, he brought the sketches in here. Stop right there. 
Monkey, Whoa, you put oh, that gun down. does it. Put that thing away. Nate? Have you seen what they've done to my eyes? Look at that monkey. <laughs> He's, I'm ready to shoot him. Just take one step in here, I'm gonna blast him. So, you did a bit of redecorating out there, I see. Let me guess. You've redecorated. So the pirates that fled come back. Oh, it was that little brat and her mother turned up here saying I should hand over the elf. And you explained politely that the elf is no longer here and that unfortunately you can, as such, be of no help. I kicked them out. Then they started transforming my island. They would have got me too if I didn't have the head. Uh, how did you rescue the statues from Van Buren? I see you were at least able to rescue the statues. Statues? They're my friends. Tell him. Friends! I brought them in here long before them witches came. A man shouldn't be alone. Isn't that right, Martha? Oh my yeah. gosh. I've even heard of people who went mad because they had no one to talk to. <laughs> Can't happen to me. Huh. I've got friends and things are on the up. <laughs> sure. Friends? <laughs> so, Councillor Van Buren is after Ivo. Van Buren's convinced that Ivo's still here. <clears throat> I'm supposed to persuade you to hand her over. I'd do that at a drop of a hat. That elf is in league with dark forces. He's still on about the she higher power to thing. Be crazy. Do you hear what she said about the invisible force that determines what we do? Van Buren isn't going to believe that Ivo's not here. You've got to get that old bag off my island, Nate. You have to. So I need the spirit compass, urgently. I'm here because I need the spirit compass. What? Not because you missed my company? Well, that too. And because I've missed your company. But mainly the compass. A friend of mine won't find their way out of the realm of the dead without it. I don't care about that. It's my compass. Right, Pierre? Right, right, right. You see? And if I rescue you from the counselor, do I get the compass then? How about I get Van Buren off the island, and in return you lend me the compass? You'll get it back in one piece. <sighs> you get rid of them both. Mother and daughter. I'll try. That's the deal. Hmm. William, what do you say? Oh, boy. Ah, it's stew today. Ah, good old Bill. All you ever think of is food. All right. This guy's mate. lost his mind. If you get those two monstrosities off my island, I'll lend you the compass for a day. Deal. Ah, deal. So our deal stands. Our deal stands? Aye. You chase those two horrors off my island, and I'll lend you the spirit compass. That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. I've got to go. See you later. See you later! All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff in here. Hmm. <clears throat> Perhaps <clears throat> Old Red's friends can persuade him to give me the compass. Move the statue bit by bit? Nah. The monkey. The ape has got nothing to match the Van Buren's magic. But he could easily take me out if I try to steal the compass. Pretty much. The head the of Medusa. Medusa. It is the only thing keeping Van Buren out. No one in their right mind picks a fight with old magic like that. Neither does Van Buren. Old Red isn't a fighter. Otherwise, he'd storm out with the head and transform the Van Burens before they get him. I guess he thinks the safest way for him is just to wait. It would be great, though, if he actually did turn them into stone. It help solve our problems. Those aren't really friends of the Red Pirate. <clears throat> if they were, he'd have drawn <clears throat> his attention to the fact that he's completely lost his mind. <laughs> I knew William. He doesn't talk as much now he's a statue, and he doesn't suffer from B.O. anymore. The bird doesn't sound anything like William, but if Old Red can accept that William is now a statue, he's hardly going to care about his new voice. Yep. I knew William. The bird. All right. The bird. Oh no, the the compass or the the parrot. <laughs> the poor bird looks quite stressed out. 
I would be too if I was the one-man entertainer for a lunatic with a Medusa head. <laughs> he is pretty much a one-man entertainer. There's the compass. The spirit compass. It can show the Archmage the way out of the spirit world. I only have to get rid of the Van Burens, then I get the compass. Sounds simple. <laughs> oh yeah, sounds so simple. The Big Book of Cocktails. Few books are consulted for words of wisdom as often as this one. But I think they rarely help. Alright. Speak on behalf of the parrot? Hmm, I wonder. Nate, what are you doing? You should give Nate the compass! Ah! <laughs> huh? Nate, was that you? Um, no. Liar! Liar! Shut up! I mean, no! No, liar! Ah! Shut up, parrot! I can see it's you, Nate. Uh. Imitating other people. You inflated bomb. <laughs> scandal! Scandal! Ah! Quiet! Quiet, you silly parrot. I'd better not. Old Red would notice if I moved the statue. The ape has got nothing. Oh, well, I guess that's it. I don't think I can talk to him anymore. So, let's just head out. Can I go see the oracle? I can! What? Did they get to him? Just one nope, more piece! Nope, they haven't gotten Just him. one more little piece and you've done it! Hey, Eyes. <laughs> eyes. Nate, nice to see you again. Come on. Knowing you, you never lost sight of me. Your life wasn't so boring over the past few years, I must admit. Good season. <laughs> so I guess we're calling him Eyes now. So from what I can see, you haven't been changed. I guess they must not have gotten to you in here. I half expected to find you transformed into a huge ball of fluff with big goggle eyes. The council leader and the charming Chantal are concentrating their attention on the palace, fortunately. I guess you also want her off the island as quickly as possible. Absolutely. I like tragedies, but I've never wanted to be in one. All right. Well, Ivo's mother has put her into a deep sleep, which I'm sure you're aware, probably using the mirror in her room. You know why I'm here? Of course, Princess Ivo. Oh, look at her. Oh, there's the mirror right there. That's sad. An elf in the prime of her life, sleeping away our best <coughs> years. Sorry, guys. I'm going to prevent that from happening. And I hope you're successful. This is more boring than watching the cricket. Watching the cricket? What? So, do you know how I can rescue her? Ivo's father said I can't rescue Ivo against her mother's will. That would be a bad idea. Although I'd like to see what would happen if you try. So, how can I convince Ivo's mother that she's not acting in her daughter's best interests? Isn't she? The future's in constant flux. Even I can't see it clearly in my mirrors. A powerful priestess like her might be able to see more, but clearly she doesn't want to. She thinks Ivo's thrown her life away, and she thinks it's impossible that she could be happy with a child, or with me. A difficult task that you do- Oh, oh come on, come on, number three! Run! Come on! Yes! I'm dancer one! <sighs> You're almost as frustrating to talk to as that mummy. Do you know who, well, who the father of Ivo's child is? We know he doesn't. Ivo's pregnancy. Do you know who, you know, <laughs> Ivo said you weren't the father, but if not you, who? I'm not the oracle with a hundred eyes. How should I know who it is? Eyes that are blind if there's no reflective surface nearby. Ivo seemed very surprised by the news herself. She spoke of a curse that might have struck her. A curse? Yeah, sure. So the mirror showing Ivo, can I have it? Can I have that mirror? Of course not! I could always keep an eye on Ivo with it, and maybe it'll come in useful some other way. It's already useful. It means I can see what happens next in the story. Anyway, I've never given any of my mirrors away. They are rare collector's items. You collect mirrors? <laughs> Nate, 
Rewind. Delete. Stupid question. Yeah, stupid question. Uh, I've got to go. I got to go. Yes, go. Henceforth. Some mirrors show different scenes the whole time. Others always show the same. The connection between two mirrors is sometimes stronger and sometimes weaker. This one here has a particularly strong connection to the mirror in Ivo's room. Just look how clear the picture is. About the mirror. D -d Just a second, something exciting's happening. I can't miss this. Oh, good gods. Nope. Not gonna be able to take just take it. Aw, happy, happy children. children playing in a garden. <clears throat> Ivo's <clears throat> mother refuses to believe that Ivo's children can have a happy future too. Who cares if the future queen has an illegitimate child? Well, apart from me. <laughs> Unless of course it was yours. Some happy children. I well. Alright. What's that one? Thousands of lives are taking place behind these mirrors. <clears throat> Tragedies, comedies. And quite a lot of everyday life. Well, looks like that's it. Alright, let's head out. Alright, hold on a second. Is there anything I can do with the new stuff I got? I can't do anything in here with this. The re I have to figure out what to do about this reed. Once I figure out what I can do with the reed, I can be able to use the rope in order to use the obelisk, which can help me get into that pyramid. Oh, I can talk to Chantel now. Hello there. Why are you sucking on that wand? What do you want? Go away! So you're the daughter of Lady Van Buren, aren't you? I'm Nate. You're the Council Leader Van Buren's daughter, right? Uh-huh. And you are not invited to my party. Aw, why not? What a, what? Pretty what you have done to the town. Quite... Um, pretty, what you've done with the city. I got it all out of my book, and Mommy says I've got a real artificial talent. <laughs> Artistic. Artistic. Although, artificial works too. Yeah. I would say that you're done here. Why don't you go and transform something else? Wouldn't it be fun to move on and transform something else? Or to travel back to Seastone and have an afternoon nap? Mommy's looking for the elf who stole things from She's us. She's a kid. She's not going to want to take a yes, nap, Nate. But aren't you the one in charge here? Just tell her you want to go somewhere else. But I've got everything ready for my tea party, and the guests will arrive any minute. But... Uh... So you're having a tea party, I see. A tea party, huh? Exactly like in my book. I'm celebrating my own birthday. Oh, gosh. I've got a table, tea, and Alice lots in Wonderland. of things to eat, and any minute now the guests will arrive. The Mad Hatter the and, Mad the, White Hatter and yep. the White Rabbit? The Mad Hatter and the White Rabbit! And then I'll get presents! <laughs> oh boy. Could I come to your tea party? I'd love to be a guest at your tea party. Ew, you can't come. You aren't a Mad Hatter, and you're not a White Rabbit either. And you're a boy, and ugly. Hey! Now listen here. I can oh. make you pretty. Uh, no, 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 no. no Thank no. you, but that's not necessary. Are you sure that your guests are coming? And this hatter and rabbit? Will you make them appear by magic? No, I can only change things. They will come here. I've done everything exactly the same as in my book, so they've got to come. I always get very angry if I don't get exactly what I want. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. And maybe we should leave. And they have to bring me presents, and when the Hatter and the White Rabbit are there, then Mommy has to come over as well. All right, then. Right, Mommy? What, sweetie? When the other guests have arrived, then you'll come over, too, and give me an unbirthday present. Right? Of course, my sweet. Uh-huh. As soon as the Mad Hatter and the White Rabbit appear, then I'll give you the most super-duper present ever. Did you hear that? The biggest, bestest present ever! I wonder if I can try and help make that happen. Just to try and make, you know, cause a way to, for them to leave. So tell me about the Mad Hatter. Who is this Mad Hatter you're expecting? <clears throat> he's a Hatter! And he's mad! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And what is it that makes him a Hatter? And 
and what makes him so mad? <laughs> like the died. He wears a top hat and a colorful neckerchief, and I'm not sure why he's mad, but he is. Huh. I see. All right, what about the white rabbit? A white rabbit at a tea party? Curious. You think? Yeah, and perhaps you should give him a watch if he doesn't turn up soon. <laughs> no, my guests have to give me a present. I've got to go. Yes, otherwise you'll scare my guests away. Okay, let's quickly check in with Lady Van Buren, see if there's anything else we can talk to her about. <clears throat> Lady Van Buren? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, the elf is not inside. I've spoken to the Red Pirate. He says the elf fled before you even arrived. Of course he says that. But he's hiding her. I haven't seen her anywhere. Then you haven't looked properly enough. I want that elf. Bring her to me. Then I may take my leave, Lady Van Buren? Yes, yes. Okay. Let me quickly go back in. Just to see if there was anything else in here I could interact with, with what I've got in my inventory. Alright, so nothing popping up for the read. Fight with the monkey! <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. A huge bloom. Nope. Put the handkerchief on. Oh, I put the handkerchief on. Fight with the monkey! I don't know if I should do that. Ah, maybe we'll try it when we come back. Stay tuned.